I think the Reboa played a significant role in saving Don's life and probably improving his outcome ultimately. He had uh, life-threatening hemorrhage, anesthesia, I believe there were two anesthesiologists in the OR at the time just trying to keep up with Don's needs to support his blood pressure. Not only were they using blood products as quickly as they could come from the, uh, from the blood bank to support his blood pressure, but they were also using medications to artificially elevate his blood pressure. Our next job was to figure out where was that blood loss coming from. After we concluded that the blood loss was from the pelvis, um, this is the perfect scenario for the Reboa or the resuscitative endovascular balloon occlusion of the aorta. Reboa is a balloon that we introduce into the aorta through um, the femoral artery, which is the artery in the groin. We deliver that balloon into the aorta above what we presume is the level of the bleeding. We inflate the balloon and it temporarily halts blood flow uh, below the level of the balloon. So as soon as the balloon went up and it was presumably above the source of the bleeding in the pelvis, his blood pressure immediately went up we were able to stop giving blood product and it gave us necessary time to get to interventional radiology to assess the pelvic bleeding. We do Reboa simulation at least quarterly. This is a low volume but high impact procedure and so anytime you're not doing something very frequently but it has the potential for very high impact it's important that you practice and so we take our simulations very very seriously uh, we do it at least once a quarter uh, so that not only our attending physicians can practice, but that our support staff like nursing, the operating room, and the blood bank can see exactly how they fit in uh, to the process of placing a Reboa. As I say over and over, good trauma care happens in teams and we're very lucky to have a cohesive and multidisciplinary team that work together to ensure that Don could leave the hospital alive.